Welcome to Tuesday morning. I'm here at a video game store. Well, it's not necessarily a video game store. It's LGS Electronics up in St. Cloud, Minnesota. I'm actually not that far away from Val's Hamburgers, where I did a vlog a week or two ago. I saw this place, I ventured inside there, and I was like, I gotta come back and film this place, because I got some sweet retro video games. But the reason I really wanted to come here is because I wanted to show you guys something from my childhood that I found in here. On the same shelf in here are two video game systems from my childhood that I played and uh, I just wanted to capture them myself, honestly, as I'm thinking about updating my video game system. I currently only have a PlayStation 2, and then I got a bunch of those, uh, a bunch of those little video gaming systems, like the Pac-Man that you can just hook right up to your TV. It's got like a Pac-Man and like a bunch of old arcade kind of stuff on it. So, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of fun to check this place out. The store's pretty cool. They got Lewis Game Shop inside, too, that does Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon cards, kind of a card type games. And then as you venture down here, of course, they got a bunch of retro video games. They've got some DVDs and some cool stuff inside too, and just stuff for like phones and, and computers in general, some old monitors and stuff, but it's a cool shop, so. And they have neon signs right here, which is also cool. But here we are, LGS Electronics. That's where we're at. Head in here, got some old monitors there. And a little CD section, selling some vinyl and stuff even, which is really cool. Wang <laughs> Chung. is for this section right here. Look at this, all of this amazingness, surrounded by amazingness. Old school video game, look at all these amazing old school cartridges. <clears throat> just all old school video games. I realize there are systems out there where you can just download all of these on them and play them, but I, I still like to look at this stuff. Oh, an old school street racer. Oh, dude, look at that. That's insane, that's awesome. So many amazing pole position. Oh, who didn't love pole position? Target fun, must be a shooting game. Oh, old school Pac-Man pitfall. Oh, that was a great game, Pitfall. Game Shark. I think that just gave you a bunch of uh, cool codes and like cheat codes. Am I right in thinking that? Oh, California Games. Yes, California Games. Amazing. So good. So much good goodness. Oh, this is so great. Skiing. I got skiing too. Oh, old school Donkey Kong, Star Trek, Space Attack. A lot of Space Attack. I just love looking at this stuff. It's like stepping back into my childhood. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is what I was looking for. They have these old school Coleco. Coleco Vision. Mouse Trap Coleco Vision. Oh my gosh, dude. I wonder if that ColecoVision works. These are the, oh, okay, wait, before I get into this, I need to show you this. All right, so, when I was a child, this was my first video gaming system, the Magnavox. One of the games was like literally just typing. You would just type. There's some amazing games on that though. And then my second video gaming system was this, ColecoVision video game system and I had the most fun with that and I'm wondering how much that is and then because they have some good games over there for that bad boy so there's the Magnavox look at the look at the cover of that thing Oh, I have uh, an old NES. I'm thinking about getting that with the Retron HD so I can hook up to my big screen and it'll just work a lot better. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting that Retron right there. I've got one for 29 and I'm not sure. I kind of like that one because it looks like an old NHS. NHS. N NES. I combined VHS and NES together.
$75 for the ColecoVision, which is not bad, because where else are you going to find that? I'm thinking about getting it, but I need to check my TV at home, see if I can even hook it up, because I would need to get a coax, a TV with coax or RCA, I believe. Um, usually these things hooked up. They either had like two little metal prongs that went around a couple of screws that it hooked up to, like little U, U connectors, uh, or you could connect it to a coax, and so I need to figure that out, but I don't know. You guys think I should do it? I think I could just ColecoVision, or, do, or is there something else out there, some better way to play the old Cleco games that I want to want to play again? I just saw this ColecoVision up here. Look at this thing. It's in like brand new. It looks brand new. My goodness. That's awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. It's in such good condition. All right, but here is some of the ColecoVision games, which I had the Smurfs. That was amazing. Such a fun game. I didn't have Mr. Do. The Smurfs and this Venture one. Was it called Venture? Venture. I remember that. So great. You basically just went out into different rooms and then of course Donkey Kong. Cubert had Cubert. I don't know if this Cubert's for ColecoVision or not. Is that ColecoVision? Yeah, I think it is. Looks like the same. <laughs> this is incredible. It looks like, like, like a little piece of my childhood that I just reached back in time. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. E.T. This is incredible. I love this. So many good memories of just grabbing some some good food and some good buddies, me and my brother or whoever. We had it hooked up to my mom, my parents' TV in their bedroom. And that's where we played all of our video games. <clears throat> I remember how amazing ColecoVision was. The controllers had numbers on them, so you had a different a different number pad that you would slip into the controller that let you know what each number was for for the different specific games. So random. It's so great. And then here's the old NES games too. Hogan's Alley. Oh, this game was so great. Who remembers that theme? <clears throat> Home Alone game? Home Alone 2? I did not play that one. I might have to. Football. Gotta love football. Of course, the football game for NES was, of course, Tecmo Bowl. That was the best one. Simon's Quest, Double Dragon, Commando, yes, such a good one. Double Dragon. Oh, John Elway's quarterback. <laughs> this game was so great. This game was so great. You could throw a pass really out far to the right or the left on the sideline, and a really fast guy would grab it, and you could run circles around everybody else. This is amazing. John Elway's quarterback. That, was, that game was... This game was so popular in Colorado... It was really hard to find, and now it's four bucks. So good. Remember Top Gun, too. Back to the Future game. I might have to... I might have to get that. Just because I have an old NES. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> Skate or die. <laughs> Silent Service. Oh, this movie. Or this movie. This video game was so good. We played that game so much. I played, oh, I logged so many hours on this video game, Silent Service. Of course, RC Pro-Am. Played that a lot. Rad Racer. Yes. This game was so good. Rad Racer. Oh my goodness, this game. So many good memories playing that game. This was like the car game back in the day. Everyone loved this game, Rad Racer. Oh, look at this. Willow. There's a Willow video game. I never had that one. That's amazing. You are amazing. Or what does Willow say to him? You are incredible or great or something like that. Willow! Kung Fu. That, <laughs> we used to call it the machine gun kicker game because you could kick so fast. You could just go <laughs> Such a good game though. Just left to right, left to right, and just kept kicking people. Kung Fu. That's a good game. 
Oh, crowdy kid. I never had that game. It's like every 80s movie had a video game that went with it. <laughs> it's so great. I mean, it's not so much different today. They still do that. Look at that. Predator. Man, I could get all my favorite 80s movies on NES. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I remember Gotcha. It was like paintball. This was a really fun game. Fun game. Good times with this one. Uh, sorry, everybody. I'm totally geeking out. Just looking at video games. This is this is great though. Video games were such a huge part of my upbringing. And now that I have a son, I, mean, I haven't updated my gaming system since I was, uh, like I said, PlayStation 2. And now that I have a son, I'm thinking, I don't know, he's probably gonna wanna be into the video games too. And I think me and him could have a lot of fun playing video games. So I'm like, it's probably time to update. So I'm thinking, do I go with an Xbox? Do I go with PlayStation 4? Do I go with a Wii? Do I go with Nintendo Switch? Leave some comments below on what you think I should get. What would be the most fun for, for me and my son? And wait, I have some time too to update, or should I wait? Is there something else coming out that I should wait for? I don't know. Nice. Got some old, a lot of Sega games over here nowadays. Yeah, of course I moved on to Sega. I had an NES and a Sega. Some good Sega games here too. Uh, this game was so fun, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> what, the way you would fight the people is you would burp or you could fart on them. <laughs> you could burp on people and fart on people in this game. It was like the best game ever. A little Joe Montana action on the cover of a video game. Road Rash. I had this game. I can't remember. I know I had this game. I can't remember what it looked like though. I think, were you on a motorcycle in this game or was this a car? I can't remember. I feel like it was a motorcycle. It's amazing to realize that Toy Story has been around for so long already. It came out in what, 95, 96? Incredible. Of course, they got all the little little games like Nintendo DS and stuff like that up here in the lock boxes too, but all of those games. I never had many of those, or I never actually even had one of those. Or uh, a game, uh, what was it called? Game Boy or Handy Boy? More Sega games, Sega Genesis, in their uh, in their countertop locked up. These must be some of the more hard to come by games. This is a cool store. I mean, if you like video games, this is the place for you. If you like old old toys, old action figures, they got records, they got comic books. They uh, got a spot to play play other card type games. They got old TV monitors, and well, it's a cool store. One of the coolest, this type of stores I've been in. Nice. This store's pretty awesome. They got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. April O'Neil, the Ninja Newscaster. I never saw April put that on. Interesting. Now, here's a name from the past I haven't heard or thought about in years. Earthworm Jim. It was a pretty cool game. I remember it. Those are kind of fun. Creepsters. Glow in the dark. Anything that could glow in the dark when I was a kid. If it glow in the dark, I was all about it. That's cool. The world number two, the old underground Mario, all laid out. I've never seen that before. Big old map. Is that something you can get, like for a kid's room or something? Always good when a store has a, a bucket of characters. Just random stuff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this aren't random, but I'm not sure what world these characters belong in. If you know, leave a comment below. Hmm. Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos's glove. Only twenty nine ninety nine. That's not bad to be able to control space and time and uh, anything. It's a pretty major action figure section here going on. Pretty incredible collection they got going on here. Look at that Terminator. Looks like, uh, what's his name? Freddy Cougar there. A couple of different Terminators. We got Katniss. Some old school original action figures from Star Wars. 
pretty amazing. They even got old A-Tracks down here. Look at that. This is the Moody Blues. Old A-Tracks. It's incredible. Look at this. It's like a Millennium Falcon video game you just plug right into your TV. That's kind of awesome. What's that say? Plug play TV games. I wonder what this game looked like. Nice, they even got a keytar. <laughs> a keytar, those are amazing. Pretty cool stereo section over here. Used stereos and record players and some cool stuff here. Some more uh, up-to-date gaming systems and controllers and stuff. PS4 games. I think all of them, I believe, have been used so you can get them a little bit cheaper. All right, it's official. The store is really cool. This is one of the coolest gaming slash buyback game slash old school retro gaming stores I've been in. I'm sure there's other ones out there, but this is a really good one. So I've had loads of fun remembering my childhood. Leave a comment below. How do you think I should, because I'd like to upgrade my current gaming system, but also have something that I can play old school games on. So I'm thinking either a Retron or something else. Let me know what you think. Uh, oh, that old ColecoVision is calling my name though. <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna head on out of here now. And to just make this one of the coolest stores ever existed, Pee Wee Herman greets you when you're ready to purchase your games. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're all done. But uh, anyway, this, this is this is a cool store. So LGS Electronics retro video games cool spot guys so definitely give it a check out if you're in the st cloud area it's not that far away from val's hamburgers so on my way home now again i'm gonna stop at val's hamburgers again and get a delicious val's hamburger uh so yeah that's all i got for this uh episode of matt's rad show this vlog so please like subscribe share this video and and click the uh notifications button so you're always notified when i upload a vlog which i'm trying to do almost daily i'm not able to do it daily but I'm trying to do it almost daily that's all I got, guys. The car's trying to get past me here. Bye-bye, car. And bye-bye, everybody else. We'll see you later. Check you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> I told you I'd be back. And I am. <laughs> I'm telling you. You guys have not been to Val's. Get your butt up here and go to Val's. It's so good. No lie. All right, that's all I got.